The last video interview with Camped Out Armies for SNL scored over 200,000 views. This is unbelievable. I mean, this never happened. I'm really, really grateful to all the armies who agreed to interview and all the subscribers and the viewers. I also really appreciate for the warm messages to me and to those dedicated armies on that video. Raising the question though, did they all get in? Hey you guys, Kelsey, Isa, Lucy, Ashley, and Jake, please leave a comment down below whether you guys made it. I would imagine all of you were able to get in and had an amazing night directly watching the historical performance of BTS. Because it was historical, let's jump into the review. World premiere of Boy With Love was a total success, and it happened at the legendary, a long time beloved comedy TV show, A Saturday Night Live. BTS became the first K pop act to perform at SNL. Tremendous armies, as well as lit up on Twitter and tons of news media, including CNN, US Magazine, Rolling Stone, and many others, reported BTS' successful SNL debut. The audience went wild every time BTS was mentioned, and they were finally introduced by the host, Emma Stone. As we all expected, BTS performed A Boy With Love. First time seeing the performance, the choreography seemed relaxing and happy. I can definitely tell they practiced a lot, and they were full of confidence. The second song they performed was Mic Drop. I've seen this performance a million times on various stages, but this time, it was different. Even though the stage was on the small side, I felt more energy, more power, and their harmony was absolutely gorgeous. They just slayed the stage, period. I know both performances were flawless, but I just want to share my honest opinions or reactions, if you will. First, I really like the actual band performing for Boy With Love. I know the SNL musical guests perform with a band with proper backlines. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I never seen BTS performing with a real band, even at the Cedarfield concert last year. So this one was really special. It really gave me a different look and sound of BTS. Performance aside, at the very last part of the show, everybody is on the stage for the ending credits. I saw Jimin was trying to hug Jungkook, but he refused to do that. And all of a sudden, Alex Moffat thought Jimin wanted to hug him, so they did hug it out. And Jungkook saw it and laughed it out so hard. <laughs> uh, tears. And let's not forget the traditional bumper photos. These are special photos for the host and musical guests, provided exclusively from SNL. I love the theme and the vibrant colors, which would perfectly fit with the boys. On the other hand, I see many armies tweeted about the Boy With Love outfit, saying they were too dark. But I actually liked it. It was classy and different. And for the mic drop, they changed them to colorful ones. I like the idea of contrast theme on each stage. Lastly, I expected some kind of uh, interaction with Emma Stone, which didn't happen, but it's okay, because BTS was the star of the show, no doubt. Right before the Boy With Love performance, there was a commercial for BBMA, announced BTS will perform on May 1st with Halsey. I was so happy to hear that, and I'm 100% sure every music fan will love the performance. In addition, the Boy With Love music video surpassed 100 million views on YouTube in just 37 hours and 37 minutes, which makes it the fastest K-pop music video to hit 100 million. And currently, Boy With Love is ranked number one in iTunes chart in 86 countries, and number three in Spotify global top 200 chart. Congrats BTS and thank you for the hard work. One more thing, a fake love music video scored 500 million views on YouTube. They're just non-stop, right? Now, BTS made a good impression yesterday, not only to the armies but also SNL fans in general. The SNL debut was successful, and the stage presence was absolutely fantastic. Seven members tweeted after the show, expressed their gratitude to armies for watching the very first performance on SNL. Hope they fly home safely, and I'll see you in the next one.